Alright folks, so today we're doing what should be a relatively short video. Um, 6G in your packets. That is 6G as in Grimslin. Also G as in Grimslin is the greatest. So, today we're talking about the Pax Romana. Alright, so this is that period in Roman history where they've already established a huge empire. It spans the whole Mediterranean. Um, and we have like a period of like peace and prosperity for Rome. So, the Pax Romana, it's actually Latin, and that phrase means Roman peace. Okay, so if you understand that, you're in good shape. So, it's a two-century period of peace and prosperity throughout the Roman Empire. So, approximately 27 BCE to 180 CE. So, they expanded the empire, they kind of solidified it, they, you know, made laws, they made, you know, made sure everything was secure, Okay, and they have this period of prosperity and peace. You can trade from kind of one end of the empire. Okay, you could be in Spain. You could kind of travel all the way to Italy. Okay, you could travel into Asia Minor, towards Persia. Okay, you could travel by sea. Um, and you would be like basically, you know, safe, secure, and you could be, have the opportunity to kind of advance in society. So, kind of the impacts of this Pax Romana, all right? One of the things they do is they establish a uniform system of money. Okay, so you might have talked about the Daenerys in class or the drachma. Okay, there's a you know, different types of coins, but they establish a uniform system. Okay, anytime you have one system of money, this helps expand trade, makes it easier to trade. Okay, option of uh, impact number two. Okay, they guaranteed safe travel on the Roman roads. So they kind of built these roads throughout the Roman Empire. Okay. Some were paved, some were more like dirt style roads, but either way you could travel on them with, you know, horses or carts or just people and you could be safe and secure and you could kind of trade goods. So these are kind of some examples of some Roman roads, what they look like today. So it's pretty impressive that these roads, you know, are still standing in places, you know, as many as almost 2,000 years later. So it's pretty cool. And then the last, uh, third in economic impact was uh, the prosperity and stability. So stability means kind of, um, it, you know, it's stable. Anything that's stable is, you know, it's not fluctuating, so it's not moving back and forth. Um, everything was going well, and they kind of had a steady uh, period of growth. Okay, so the Pax Romana, you got to think peace and stability. So the social impact of kind of the Roman Empire at its height. Okay, remember when we talk about the Pax Romana, we're saying this is the Roman Empire at its greatest point. Okay, so they return stability to the social classes. All right, so remember before, during that fall of the Republic period, we had, like, rich versus poor. Okay, we had senators versus, you know, uh, tribunal assemblies. We had uh, patricians versus plebeians. Okay, so we have more stability in the social classes now. So there's no more kind of civil wars, no more internal warfare. And then there's an increased emphasis on family. So... Um, it would be important for each individual, he would be expected, you know, he and she would be expected to raise a family, kind of do it the right way, and kind of have some family values. Now, political impacts of the Pax Romana. Okay, the Romans created a civil service system. This means that qualified individuals are hired to run the government. So we've seen this in China. We've seen this in Persia. Okay, another word for it is kind of bureaucracy okay so they create a system where if you like pass a test or if you demonstrate skill and value you're gonna be hired to run the government so it's not just gonna be like rich people running things or you know church people running things it's gonna be whoever's the most qualified so that's the key here you have to be qualified in order to run things they developed a uniform rule of law okay so the same laws will apply to everyone in all areas of the empire and this is key. Another aspect of great empires we've seen. We saw Hammurabi's code. Okay, we're going to look at Justinian's code after this. We see the Roman Twelve Tables. Okay, we see uniform laws. Okay, we saw the Edicts of Ashoka way back in the Morian unit. All right, so anytime you have a rule of law that's the same for everyone, usually a good thing. Now, brief kind of conclusion. Okay to this epic video. Top five holiday movies of all time, all right? 
So, number five. Okay, it's a wonderful life. It's on NBC every Christmas Eve. Okay, check it out. It's kind of black and white, old school. Uh, watch it with your parents. Your parents will probably appreciate it more than you do. Now, Home Alone, classic of the 90s. Okay, this is Macaulay Culkin. He gets lost. Um, he ends up back at his house. Okay, his family forgets him. There's a tarantula involved, robbers, booby traps. Okay, it's awesome. Now, a Christmas story. Okay, one of the all-time classics. This is Ralphie right here. He's asking for a Red Ryder BB gun for Christmas. He kind of triple dog dares his friend to lick the pole here. Tongue gets stuck. They all make fun of him. And hilarity ensues. Classic movie. Jingle All the Way! Upset special. Okay, this is Arnold Schwarzenegger. For those of you guys that don't know. Okay, Arnold. Great action hero. Makes a very funny movie. Jingle All the Way. It's one of those movies where it's like so bad it's good. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but like it's it's hilarious how bad it is. But it's hilariously awesome. And then Die Hard. Okay, Bruce Willis. Nakatomi Towers. Okay, terrorist attack. It's on Christmas Eve. And he, you know, basically has to fend them off all by himself. Bit of a PG-13 movie, so make sure you watch it with your parents. As always, make sure you're getting their consent on any sort of action movies you see. But Die Hard is a great movie. Make sure you check it out this Christmas Eve uh, with your parents so we can discuss it in class. All right, that's it. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching. And once again, Mr. Nolan, have a smile. Come to the side that the things that I tried were in my life just to get high on. When I sit alone, come get a little known, but I need more than myself this time. Step from the road to the sea to the sky, and I do believe that we rely on. When I lay 